Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is about solar radiation. Solar radiation is the energy emitted by the sun through electromagnetic waves and life on the earth depends upon it. In addition to determine atmospheric and cinematographic dynamics and trends, it makes plants photosynthesis possible among other processes. Without solar radiation, there would be no life on the earth. Moreover, it currently allow us to produce photovoltaic energy, which is essential in the fight against climate changes. However, it can also be harmful to human life. For example, due to its effect on our skin and this effect have become more dangerous in recent year due to greenhouse effect which also influence the rising temperature of our planet. So, in this video, we will study about solar radiation, its types and how it is measured. The definition of solar radiation. Solar radiation is the energy emitted by the sun which is sent in all directions through space as electromagnetic waves. So, it says that the energy emitted by the sun is influences atmospheric processes. It is also directly and indirectly responsible for common phenomena such as Plant photosynthesis, keeping the planet at the temperature compatible with light and wind formation and which is essential for generating the wind power. Here in the figure we see the solar energy is radiating over the cloud surfaces atmospheres. The sun emits energy in form of shortwave radiations which is weakened in the atmosphere by the presence of cloud and absorbed by the gas molecules or suspended particles present in the atmosphere. After passing through the atmosphere, solar radiation reaches the continental land surfaces and is reflected or absorbed. Finally, the surface returns it to the outer space in the form of long wave radiations. Types of solar radiation Depending on the form in which it reaches the earth's surface, there are three types of radiation. First is direct solar radiation, diffused solar radiation, and reflected solar radiation. Let's see in it in detail. This figure shows all the three types of solar radiation in detail. Here we see direct radiation, diffuse radiation through clouds and reflected radiation reflected over the surface. So, direct radiation reaches the earth's surface without disappearing at all on the way. That is, it does not change its direction like diffuse radiation. It reflects on the surface directly. Next is diffuse radiation. Diffuse solar radiation reaches the earth's surface after having undergo multiple deviation in its trajectory for example, clouds or gases present in atmosphere, etc. So, diffuse radiation changes the direction and then it is radiate on the surfaces. Next is reflected radiation. Reflected solar radiation is fraction of solar radiation that is reflected by the earth's surface itself in a phenomena known as ablando effect. So, it states that it first radiated to the surface and reflected over 
the surface is known as reflected solar radiation. The next is depending on types of light, there are again three types of solar radiation, infrared radiation, visible radiation or rays, ultraviolet radiation or rays. So this figure explains about these three type of radiations, infrared rays, spectrum or visible rays or light, UV, UV means ultraviolet rays. It is also known as invisible, visible, invisible solar radiation. So let's see it. Infrared rays, longer wavelength than visible light, they emit heat and are given off by anybody those temperature is greater than 0 degree Kelvin. So the solar radiation which temperature is greater than 0 degree Kelvin is known as infrared rays and it is not visible to the human eye. Visible rays. Visible rays as it the name suggests it is visible to the human eye. It is also known as spectrum rays. They emit the light and those that a human eye perceives in the form of color, that is, we can see these rays in the color red, orange, yellow, green, blue, or violet. These color rays are known as visible rays, ultraviolet or UV rays. They are invisible to the human eye and have most serious impact on the skin, they are divided into three subcategories. So, this UV rays are also known as invisible rays and are again divided into three categories. They are ultraviolet rays A, UVA. Ultraviolet rays B, UVB and last is ultraviolet rays C, UVC. This figure explains about three types of ultraviolet rays. The ultraviolet light passes through the atmosphere easily. Most of it reaching the surface of the planet is known as ultraviolet ray the ultraviolet light rays does not penetrate to the atmosphere so easily. Even so, it reaches the surface and is responsible to worse skin damage is known as ultraviolet rays B, UVB. The ultraviolet light that cannot get through atmosphere so easily because it is absorbed by the ozone layer present here. So, that rays is known as UVC, ultraviolet rays C. Next is, how is solar radiation measured? Solar radiation is measured on a horizontal surface by means of radiation sensors or pyranometer which is placed in south facing shadow free location. Data are collected in units of power. So, the solar radiation unit is watts per square meter. To convert solar radiation from power unit to energy unit, the data in watts per square meter must be multiplied by the number of seconds compromising 10 minutes, that is 600 seconds or 24 hours, that is 86,400 seconds, and the result will be provided in joules per square.
square meter so here it states that if you want to convert watt per square meter to joule per square meter you have to multiply the answer of watt per square meter in 10 minutes or 24 hours and you will get the answer in joule per square meter instrument used to measure solar radiation there are various type of instrument which is used to measure the solar radiations they are pyranometer pyheliometer quantum sensors pyrigeometer net radiometer and sunshine recorder so these instruments we will see in detail in the next video